What's up, folks? I'm your host, Mr. Loco, and you are tuned in to another episode of Air Gunner Life. Today is another special firearms episode, so we are not going to be taking a look at any air guns today. Instead, we are going to be taking a look at another 22 caliber pistol chambered in 22 long rifle, and it is none other than the GSG 1911. All right, so here we have the GSG 1911 CA. Now for you out of state, you know, it won't say CA right there. And the reason why it says CA here is because California has a stupid thing called the safe handgun roster. Now, if it was all about safety as it said, you know, in the name safe handgun roster, like I wouldn't mind it as much, right? But it's not. What it is is that the companies who make guns have to pay an extra fee to California to pass through California's handgun safety tests. Which they probably already went through in the factory for their own safety tests. But yeah, California adds on some extra ones so that are totally stupid. And basically, it eliminates any gun not on the list from sale in California. Unless you're law enforcement, then you can buy off-roster guns. And if you know somebody who is law enforcement, he has an off-roster gun, and he wants to sell it to you, that's okay as well. But other than that, no, you cannot get the just standard GSG 1911-22. And in other states, this gun comes in different colors. In California, because it's the CA version, it only comes like this. Other states, though, you can get one with gray slides. You can get it with OD green, I think. Um... I think I've seen a camo one. I'm not 100% sure if that was custom painted or not. But, um, yeah, they come in a few different kinds. And there's also a Sig Sauer version. It comes with one magazine. And if you see here, I got a dummy round in it. It came with that dummy round. It also came with this little Allen key here. And another Allen key that's very small. I don't know what that one's for. Um, this Allen key right here is to take the pin out here to be able to fill, strip it, and clean it. And it also came with this cleaning brush. So, and then, besides this little bag here with stuff, it also came with a little German sport gun sticker, some gun oil, and the manual. So... And the box. So let me close the box so you can see. The box is GSG German Sport Guns right there. So that's what it came with. I purchased two extra mags on eBay for $32 each. So the gun up close, it ha you know, you can look at it. It has the GSG logo right there. It says German Sport Guns. And then underneath it says ATI. Somerville SC. Alright, so let's flip this gun over and see what it looks like on the other side. So, now the gun is po not pointing in a safe direction, but it has been safety checked, and for the camera I will show you too. There's nothing inside. Okay. So, anyway, on this side, it says Caliber 22 LR, made in Germany. Read manual before use, American Tactical. That's who imports it over here is ATI, American Tactical. And you have your serial number. And it has safeties on both sides. So if you're a lefty, you won't have a problem shooting this gun. I'm not a lefty, so this feels weird. But anyway, then it has your grip safety. And it has another feature. When there's no magazine in this gun, you cannot pull the trigger, even if it's off safety. So that's the third safety to this gun. And that is not just for the California version, that's for every version. Um, let me slide the mag in real quick. Chamber the round. Now, because this is a 22, you really don't want to dry fire 22s. But I have a dummy round inside, so I will dry fire it for the camera. The trigger is very crisp and clean and weighs in about a, one pound. And look at my finger, I'm not putting any pressure on one. Yeah, that is 
a very, very smooth trigger. Back one, you can change out the sights if you want to. There are quite a few aftermarket parts for this gun. Uh, one of those aftermarket parts is a guide rod. The one that's in here is a little bit smaller than your standard one. Um, so that is the reason why you need that little screw right there for the Allen key. Um, but if you get this little kit, you get the whole, this whole part right here and that part right here, the tip of the barrel, this little part, this comes off. You, you can switch that out and you get a new guide rod that's a full size and all this stuff here gets switched out and then when you do that you don't need that little allen key to unscrew that screw anymore you don't need that screw at all it eliminates it so the takedown turns out to be just the same as your regular standard 1911 um, also you can buy aftermarket exoskeletons is what they call them but they're, they're slides skeletonized slides and they look pretty cool me personally I like the old school look of a 1911 so this is how I'm gonna keep it I'm just gonna buy the guide rod down the road um, I hear it's a really great buy and the gun is super super accurate it loves CCI mini mags and uh, it also likes the federal ones but it doesn't like too much that bulk you know target ammo with the you know with the soft lead tips and everything it doesn't really care for those like like they'll hit the targets like like they're supposed to it's still accurate with them but they might you know they might not cycle through properly my thoughts on this gun overall it's a great gun I definitely recommend it it ran me for $2.99 before tax and background check and the stupid California Joe's fees and all that stuff so out the door I paid about $340, $350 for it, I forget, something like that. So I filmed a little bit at the range today, so I'm gonna shift over to that right now. Be shooting the GSG 11 and 22 caliber. So when I was out shooting today, I forgot to film the target when I was done shooting to show you guys how I did. But this target right here is from the first time after I got the gun that I took it out to go shoot. And this is a grouping at 15 yards with the CCI mini mags.